So the meniscus cartilage is the fibrous shock absorber inside the knee. There's a medial and lateral meniscus which protect the articular cartilage surfaces inside the knee joint. The meniscus is torn about a million times a year in the United States, and surgeons very commonly go in and trim out the torn portions of the meniscus. Sometimes the surgeon will repair the meniscus with sutures, sewing it back together, trying to get it to heal, and often it can heal. When it doesn't heal, or when the surgeon's taken out the meniscus, the next answer is to replace it, and that's called a meniscus allograft or meniscus transplant. The meniscus can be torn multiple different ways, and traditionally surgeons thought that they couldn't repair it, and much of the meniscus tissue was taken out of the knee when the surgeon would look inside. Today we know that many meniscus tears can be repaired. You can sew them back together, and if the meniscus heals, it again preserves and strengthens the joint surface, protects the joint surface, and acts like a shock absorber to diminish the chance of developing arthritis. If a person loses a significant portion of their meniscus from an injury or from surgery, then the femur rubs against the tibia, wears out the bearing surface, and that's what arthritis is. And that's why so many people complain of pain after having their meniscus cartilage removed from a surgical procedure, often years ago, and then develop pain over the decades. So our bias is to always repair a torn meniscus whenever possible, or if there's too much missing, to replace the torn meniscus with a donor meniscus called a meniscus allograft or a meniscus transplantation. So the knee joint uh, is a fantastic design of pure articular cartilage covering the surface of the bones, the meniscus cartilage, the fibrous tissue protecting the femur and tibia, and the ligaments inside and on the side of the knee to control rotation and motion of the femur on the tibia. You take one to three million steps per year in normal walking, up to 10 times your body weight, depending on the height of the step. And so if you lose any of that shock absorber inside the knee, any of the meniscus tissue, you dramatically increase the forces on the femur and on the tibia, and lead, that leads to wear and tear arthritis. So having a torn meniscus or a failed repair or a meniscectomy where some of it is taken away leads to increased forces on the joint and increased arthritis. That's why we're so biased about repairing a torn meniscus tissue or replacing it if it's missing. We want to protect that joint so that it can take all those forces of one to three million steps per year and return people to running and playing the sports that they love.